Over here on the wall, got a little bit of blood here. In here, point the camera down, Sean. Point it down. We've got one, two, three, four, five boxes of videotapes numbered sequentially. Uh, hey, guys. hey guys, come come here. Come on, come on. Whoa. Get in here, Sean. Get over here. Over here. You ready? No. Whoa. Oh my God, she is. We need a medic in here. Get a medic in here now. Oh, people kept trying to tell me all those years that Cheryl was probably dead, that I should probably start to move on. But I wouldn't. I kept telling everyone, I have to keep hope until I know. But then I got the call. The officer said, we found your daughter. And I thought he meant her body. I have never seen a human being born and raised in the United States show evidence of this kind of torture. She had been burned, cut. She had five teeth removed by pliers or a hammer. She had multiple broken bones. Not only that none of them have been allowed to heal, some have been further aggravated by some sort of a tightening apparatus. She had also been extremely malnourished and her organs were in a really bad shape as a result. There also was a severe sexual torture, including things like electrocution of genitals and things that are too horrible to say out loud. While she was in the hospital, a lot of her injuries seemed to get worse instead of better, and we couldn't figure it out. Uh, then I realized that pain, not just pain, but brutal pain, had been such a huge part of her life for so long, she didn't know how to exist without it. She no longer knew how to exist in the world if not through horrific pain. She was torturing herself when nobody was looking. It was very strange seeing Cheryl after all that time. You know, the time that she was missing, I went from being a carefree college girl to having two girls of my own. It was hard to see the girl that I loved and the girl that came back. I don't know. What do you want me to say? It had to be nice seeing your mom again after all that time. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know what you want me to say. What was the man you lived with all these years like? this anymore. Why? Because I don't know what you want me to say. You can say anything you want. He loved me. Nobody ever lets me say it, but it's true. He loved me. He didn't mean to leave me. And someday he's going to come back to me. And he's going to take me away.
Well, another tragedy for this small family in Reading. Take a look here at the crime scene. The recently buried body of Cheryl Dempsey was stolen from her grave. It happened here last night at Woodlawn Cemetery. The only thing left behind a broken casket is you can see a real mess. Police are now investigating a possible link between this demented crime and a serial killer who has been tormenting the East Coast, known as the Water Street Butcher. My feeling is that he's moved somewhere else. I doubt very strongly that he stopped killing. I doubt very strongly that anyone even knows he's there. But in some town out there, the disappearance and murder rates are rising. And somewhere out there, he's responsible for it. Something I find interesting about these tapes is that they're numbered sequentially, but there were 27 tapes missing when we found them. I wonder what was on those tapes. I wonder if they were just too private for him to let anyone see, or if his face was visible on those, or if they revealed just too much about him. Or maybe they were worse than anything that we've seen. I'll tell you one place we'll be watching. If this documentary thing you're making ever gets to the theaters, he won't be able to help himself. He'll see this movie as many times as he can. We'll keep an eye on as many screenings as we can because he'll be there.